Well, hello, my many friends. You have reached part 12 of Trusty Huckster Mercantile's Shop Hop Drop Sale. Hopefully by this point you have not dropped and you are still ready to shop. So welcome to the Skunky Junk channel. We have some great stuff for you today here. <laughs> Hello, future friends. Welcome to uh, another live sale with Skunky Junk. Welcome to the Skunky Junk channel. My name is Sean Young. I'm the skunkiest of the skunks. So um, here today, thanks to the invitation from Patrick, and appreciate that very much, Patrick, to be part of the hop and drop and plop and sop sale. And um, so I have some really fun things for us tonight. It's a little bit weird for me talking to you for the future, but I'm in the past. So it's a little bit like time travel. So I'm going to um, actually be doing part of this video, and then I'll be doing my Tuesday night live sale, and then I'll come back and finish this video. So it'll be in two parts in the past. I don't know what to think of that. At any rate, some beautiful things tonight. Um, back in uh, the 30s, uh, I believe this to be a Fenton piece, um, some beautiful carnival glass was created. Still being created today, but this is an older piece. Uh, this is a peacock tail pattern, and it's quite beautiful, actually. If you look really closely at it, it's very intricate and beautiful. But this carnival glass that most of you are familiar with, I'm sure all of you are familiar with, has that beautiful iridescent uh, oily sheen to it, just a beautiful multicolored rainbow of colors. And that's what we're going to be exploring tonight, is some, some things with that look to it. Um, this particular piece is has no chips, no cracks. It's in really beautiful, beautiful shape. It's over green glass. You can see that on the bottom, the green glass is exposed. And then the beautiful iridescence and the peacock pattern. It is not marked as a Fenton piece, but my research leads me to believe that it's a Fenton piece. I'm putting it forward as a generic piece that could potentially be Fenton. But it is a very beautiful, beautiful piece. Has the uh, the base, I wouldn't call it a pedestal because it doesn't really lift it up, but it does have a nice base so that it sits firmly and it can be used for whatever you want to store in it or more preferably just display it uh, for its great beauty on its own. Uh, this piece is going to be A10 and it's number 30. So if, you, if you're interested in anything that we talk about and show tonight, just put the number a10 in this case in the chat and the first person to do that I will con contact you and uh, we'll connect you with this piece. We're going to leave this active for two weeks so after two weeks if you still want the piece you're welcome to contact me but I'm not going to necessarily hold these pieces beyond that so I may sell them in another format. So it's A10 and it's number 30 if you're interested in this uh, beautiful piece. It is about seven inches, just under seven inches across. So that's the first beautiful piece that we have tonight with this kind of an iridescent look to it. But here's the key to tonight's conversation. It, it wasn't the glass makers of the uh, early 20th century that started that look. That look was started by nature. And so tonight we have a whole bunch of abalone uh, items, and, and that's what we're going to focus on, the abalone shell. This is a pink abalone. Uh, most of the abalone that we will see here today, very likely, was harvested off the coast of California here in the United States of America. It was um, extensively harvested in the 50s, mo uh, increasingly in the 60s, and then into the 70s when uh, the farming... Um, got a little out of control and started to see depletion of the species. So they had to cut that off. And then they worked on trying to build up fisheries where they could harvest these themselves. It wasn't until the 80s that they kind of mastered that. And uh, today, a lot of the abalone, especially the abalone that you would find in restaurants uh, in the United States would be uh, farmed abalone. And um, there is fake abalone out there. I 
think all of today's items have real abalone shell. Um, not 100% sure about one piece, but at any rate, here, here we are. So this is an abalone shell. This is a fairly uh, standard size. These beautiful, beautiful pink abalone, and they have the holes in the top. Abalone is a type of snail. This piece is about seven inches, or excuse me, I guess it's about just a little over six inches. So it's a fairly standard size. It's it's not a extensively large piece of abalone or or abalone shell, but it is a beautiful one. It's got the iridescence on the back as well as on the inside. Very, very nice piece. It doesn't have a lot of the um, barnacles and that kind of thing on the back, which is sort of nice. It makes it a very beautiful piece for display. This, because of its size not being overly large, is $16 and it's letter A5. So if you're interested in having this abalone shell as part of your summer display, $16 and A5. It's a really, really beautiful one. My wedding ring, let's hold it up there and see if we can get it to focus. My wedding ring has abalone shell. Um, it, it's just something that I really, really love and I pick it up quite frequently. So today we're gonna, we're gonna display some of it in the sale. So uh, second, or the next piece that we have is this tiny little trinket box. It's almost pillbox size, but it's maybe a little taller than a typical pillbox would be. Um, but, you know, you could use it for whatever you want. Call it a pillbox, call it a trinket box. At any rate, it's covered with um, mother of pearl, and then on the top, abalone shell. It does have one strip of abalone on the side, and that's so that you can match up the lid with the correct side. It's a oct octagonal shape. So that is the abalone and um, uh, mother of pearl. Uh, little small box. So inside it is plastic. The shell is attached over plastic and that's what's inside. The, the plastic um, has, you know, some signs of, I don't know what crazing is in plastic, but it does have some lines in it. I wouldn't call it cracks, but anyway, signs of age on the plastic, but the shell on the outside is all really quite beautiful. There is just one tiny little bit of, on this piece right here, whoop, um, Come on, focus for me. That one corner of that piece of mother of pearl is is just slightly cracked off. So it's not perfect, but it's quite a beautiful little piece. So this is going to be letter A1, and it's $17. $17 for A1. A1, and it's not a steak sauce. It's a little mother of pearl and abalone shell box. This is one that you see fairly frequently. It's a trivet. So these trivets from the 70s, uh, it's a lucite trivet. It says on the back, heat resistant plastics made with shells gathered by divers from the Pacific Ocean. So these would have been naturally harvested. This came from, and it is a souvenir from, Depot Bay on the Oregon coast. If you haven't watched my Oregon coast uh, tour videos from last summer, you should go back and do that. Actually, last fall. So go back and check those out on my site. Um, this, it looks like at one point somebody set it on a hot burner or something. So it's burned just a little bit on the bottom. It's kind of a bump there, but it's not visible on the top. So it's quite beautiful to, for display or for use. Um, it's been used, so it's not perfectly shiny and brand new, but it, it you know, it looks very nice and very usable. And certainly worthy of display. The difference about this one is that the backing is white. Typically these are black. I really kind of like the white and then it's got the glitter in there too. So it just has that special 70s kind of look. So this is letter A3 and it's $12. $12 for A3. It's the size of a trivet, so just under seven inches. Typical size that you would expect a trivet to be and it's just beautiful with those pieces of abalone shell in there. And again, it's A3, $12 for that piece. Next up, we have this really fun piece right here. So abalone shells can get up to 12 inches, which is quite large. Um, I have never owned one quite that large, and I think it'd be worth a lot of money if you could find one. Uh, but then they go down to you know portions of an inch, uh, I think 0.8 of an inch, something like that. So they're, they, some, some uh, species of abalone are very small. The, abalone in this piece. I do believe these are abalone. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I believe these to be abalone, um, are, uh, very small. So this is a, um, 
a paperweight, a little lucite paperweight. It's not glass, it's lucite. So it does have some scratching on it as lucite tends to with age and something that's been, you know, moved around on a desk. That's about that tall, very small. Now they put these shells and then inside of them, they put these little tiny pearls, or I don't know if they're real pearls or fake pearls. They're very tiny, uh, which abalone would not have pearls in them. So that's not quite anatomically correct. But anyway, there you go. So they're just these little, little tiny shells. Um, and then with little pearls inside. I, I'm not 100% sure that these are abalone, but they are shiny and beautiful like an abalone shell. So this beautiful little piece, it's about the size of a bar of soap. So it's about three and a half inches is the size of it. And, you know, maybe a half an inch tall or so. It's not overly heavy, so it wouldn't be difficult to ship, but it'll keep your papers down if you've got your fan blowing and you need something to keep things from blowing away on your desk. And other than that, it's just a beautiful little display piece. So it is uh, $14 and it is number A8. A8, $14 for the paperweight. I'm going to do one more, and then we're going to go to our live sale, and then we're going to come back here. Not that you will know any of that, because it's going to appear to you to be very consecutive. So I'm just throwing everything off and making this time travel thing very weird. So let's do this piece. Here's a little, um, this is a pendant, and it's got a little chain. It, it doesn't seem to be any high quality chain. It's not silver. The pendant itself does not appear to be sterling. It, it looks to be some sort of cheaper metal, but it is really beautiful kind of filigreed around the edge and then the shell in the center there. So that's, oops, let's turn it so that you can see it. There you go. I usually do my sales on my laptop and this is using my phone. So I'm having a hard time getting it in front of the camera correctly. Anyway, beautiful. Uh, shiny like uh, typical of abalone. This one is the one I'm not a hundred percent sure this is abalone but if you look at the back of it it does appear to be a shell so I think that this is abalone. At any rate it's very beautiful. Kind of iridescent, beautiful, shiny and then the filigreed um, uh, around the edge and it's a, probably about an inch and a half tall. So yeah it, it is in fact almost exactly an inch and a half tall. And, and it does come with this little chain, but again, I don't think there's a lot of quality or value to the chain, but it'll come with that. So this is, uh, this piece here is $12 and it's A11. Number A11 for the pendant with the beautiful piece of shell and the little chain. $12 A11, we'll put that back in the little bag and I'll see you back here in one second after an hour and a half have passed. All right. Now tonight's live sale is done, and now we're doing tomorrow, night after tomorrow's sale again. Here we are. <laughs> this is going to be the most mixed up video ever. So here's the next item that we've got. Uh, back to our um, abalone. This one is going to be $35. This is a beautiful sterling, whoop, that way, sterling silver brooch. Oh, I've gotten mixed up again. So sterling silver brooch with the abalone inlays. Is that beautiful? It's about two inches, I'm going to guess. A little over two inches, two and a quarter inches long, including its little uh, stem. I, I don't know if this is supposed to be a leaf or a feather. But anyway, there it is. And it's just beautiful, the, the abalone in that. On the back, it is marked. I couldn't decipher what the name is. But it is marked as sterling silver. I did. I left. <laughs> there was a little crash, but don't worry. It wasn't your item breaking. Um, anyway, it's marked as sterling silver. It's it's tarnished. I left the tarnish in case that's how you like it. If you want to polish it, then you do you. But anyway, there you go. So it's this beautiful brooch. It is made in Mexico, I believe. And that's what it is. So it is $35 and it's number A2. A2, $35 for that. I know what the difference is. On the camera, it's not the same as StreamYard, so things aren't backwards. So that's why I mixed up. Good gravy. All right, this is another really cool one. This is a, an the back of an abalone shell that's been polished smooth, but look at the front of it. It's carved with this beautiful 
um, picture of this lady at the seashore with a basket. I'm not sure if she's there to collect abalone shells. Uh, in the in the 80s, they went and they marked a bunch of abalone shells because they were trying to um, just track and, and figure out if, if the populations were uh, steadying and that kind of thing. So sometimes you'll find an abalone shell on the on the shore that, you know, the abalone has died of old age or whatever it's died from. And, um, and it has a, a, a tag on it from the eighties. So that's kind of a cool thing to watch for. But if you ever find an abalone shell, that's a pretty special thing to find. Um, abalone is also eaten. It, it's a, a real delicacy. It's eaten raw and it's cooked. Anyway, so this has just a couple of little, you know, flaws around the edge where it's not perfectly smooth, but it is a beautifully carved abalone shell with that beautiful lady on it. So this um, this piece is at a, a fabulous price of $30 and it's number A4, just $30 for this piece. It would need to be displayed somewhat like a plate or something, it doesn't have a base. So you'd have to find a way to display it, but it's A4 and it's $30. I've got a really, we I showed you um, a medium sized, uh, abalone shell a little earlier and I'm going to show you a couple of more in just a moment but first I'm going to show you this piece. I actually got this from Kim at OM Vintage and I really love this. I displayed it for a long time and I have it marked at a price where I'm okay if it sells but I'm not overly anxious to sell it because I really love this piece. I think when we redo our bathroom this will end up in the bathroom unless it sells tonight. So um, this is a, it's a Lucite piece, as I've mentioned, love the Lucite. It says on the back, handmade with abalone taken by divers from the ocean. So that's where this abalone came from. It did not come from the desert. It in fact came from the ocean. So it's got the little bits on and then the larger bits. It's Lucite, it's in really good shape. It's very shiny and nice. And it's got the hanger on the back and of course the little sticker. So it's the back of Lucite is rough kind of, but, or, you know, it's not smooth, but the front is nice and shiny and smooth. This is about, oh, 10, just under 10 inches, nine and a half inches tall. It's a really, really great little display piece. I'm asking $35 and it's A9. A9 for $35 on that one. I love that one. Not anxious to sell it, as you can tell. And so, we showed you the medium-sized abalone. Now we're going to show you a tiny one. So this one is teeny, teeny, tiny. But like the other ones that I showed you, let me see if I can hold it up to the light. See, it has the holes in it. Whoop. I'm not good at this. So you can see the, the hole, the light coming through the holes. And the front has that beautiful, shiny, iridescent uh, abalone look to it. So this guy is just about an inch long is all. Just a tiny bit over an inch. So it's this teeny tiny beautiful little abalone shell. I like to picture this as, as a pendant. Somebody could figure out a way to add it and, and make a pendant out of it because I think it's just really, really a lovely little piece. It's fairly dainty, it's thin. So this is $5, number A7 for that one. $5 A7. And the last one we have for you tonight this one's a shocker. If you are familiar with abalone, you're going to gasp when you see this. We went from the smallest to the biggest. This, uh, this piece is, I have to measure it again, I've forgotten. I think it's eight inches. No, it's nine. It's just over nine. Just over nine inches the long way. Um, and at that size, see it on the back, it, it's old. This this guy lived to a ripe old age, so it has um, barnacles and all kinds of things growing on it. But it's a pink abalone. It's got the holes there, you can see. Um, at this size, an abalone shell that's nine plus inches, if you find these, they're rare to find. But if you find them on line, they are typically $175 plus. So hundreds of dollars. This one is not perfect because it has the, um, you know, the edge along here is just rough because of the barnacles and things that were on it. And the end here is cracked. So so it does have a, 
a, a flaw on the end. It's still beautiful for display. So if you just display it like this, you don't even think about the fact that there's a bit that's probably broken off there. Um, but it's 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 got the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful iridescence to it. And it's just an absolutely lovely and gigantic piece. So hold it next to my head. It's almost as big as my big fat head. So these pieces you don't see every day. And again, if you find this, you can go on eBay and buy a, a little bit nicer one and spend $200 on it easily. But this piece is going to be, because of its imperfections, only $35. I'm a little bit embarrassed by that low price, A6. A6, $35. That's an absolutely killer price on that. So, thank you for taking this little journey down the abalone trail with me. When um, I said to Carol, I think I'm going to sell, I think I know what I'm going to sell tonight. And she said, ah, baloney. And I said, oh, that is a great idea. So here we are. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed the sale. I'm the last in line, so I have nobody to usher you on to. So I can just say to you, have a really good night. Thanks so much for joining us. I have sales here on the Skunky Junk channel every Tuesday night at 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern. And I really, really look forward to greeting you again there next week. Next week's sale is an Easter sale. We're going to have lots of bunnies. So look forward to seeing you then. Have a really good night and thanks so much for watching.